Thank you very much, and thank you, Andy and the Railware crew. We are really honored to be here today. We traveled great long distance to be here from the icy cold Finland, as Sanji said. So we decided we will both be on the stage to warm up a little bit. <laughs> as as we are Finns, we don't want to talk too much. We are not talking, and we don't slide anywhere else than on the ice rink. You know, we happen to win the world championship. We have only one slide, which is the motto of our firm. So my name is Pekka Polakka. I'm the chief legal officer of Uros Group, and this is... My name is Jerry, last name is Ratikan, so only Jerry. And to some G, we do have three saunas or saunas per each people See. living in Finland, so we also like kind of the... Uh, we do have the warmness too, yeah, yeah. not only the coldness. Yes. Okay. So a uh, couple of words about Uros. Uh, Uros is Finnish-owned, is Finnish-operated, yet global company. And as we are Finns and totally in Finnish control, we are also a very neutral player in today's world. I guess everybody knows what that means. And the company was established back in 2011 by a uh, legendary visionary mobile industry man, Jyrki Hallikainen, who is still very much in the business. And the first employee of the firm actually was the man standing next to me. And the history of the firm is that back in 2011, you started to develop something like this, but from that on, everything transformed. Yeah. So basically, we started with the own design with the global mobile hotspot. In that time, it was a wideband CDMA. We've been upgrading that to LTE. We, we've been working with the large OEMs, with the smartphones. We've been providing the apps, the easy connectivity. And after that, we've been really focusing uh, for the verticals and IoT schemes, so to say. And we've been teamed up with the Qualcomm. Actually, we started to use the Qualcomm chipset already 2012. And here we are. Uh, we have own sensors, uh, and, and among the others. And the IoT platform is, and the connectivity is really the, the backbone. And once we met, by the way, it was Las Vegas, January. Yeah. Only uh, five months ago, a bit more than five months ago. And uh, uh, we saw the really good, uh, maybe Becca, you can explain uh, how, yes. how we team up. Yeah, te teaming up. Uh, at Uros, as, as Jerry said, uh, the backbone is our IoT smart connectivity that actually enables us basically to, to, uh, to connect any IoT cable device in the world put it in our backbone, build on top of it, and, and, and so on and so forth. But coming back to this, let's say, uh, five months back meeting with the real web people, of course, we are an organized company, but we also believe in intuition. And we also want to react fast when we see an opportunity that you cannot exactly assess at that moment. And I think that meeting with, with uh, RealWare was one of those moments. It happened in January in Las Vegas, and it's only, how would I say, fitting in the storyline that we Finns, who are good only in three sports, mm. they all involve using a helmet, ice hockey, ski jumping, Formula One. So we meet up with these people, so there must be a destiny there, right? <laughs> but, but in addition to the destiny, we of course saw the practicalities as well and, and the business opportunity. Yeah, and uh, uh, thanks for Qualcomm, we ended up, uh, as, as Pekka mentioned already, <sighs> Uh, and Sanji probably said pretty well on, on, on that we, we made a press release about the 10,000 pieces opportunity and we really, we are doing that, it's not the aim. Yeah. And maybe Becca you can tell about what we've been doing because the neutrality of the Finnish people, we are pretty close on Russia, not that close to Kazakhstan. Yeah. But maybe you can give a, a highlight about the Kazakhstan operations. Yeah, first of all about the, about the opportunity. We are operating in, in many regions that are, uh, let's say, traditionally not easy ones. Uh, Russia, Kazakhstan, India, China, the mainland China, to name just a few. And once we met with, uh, with the real world people first time, then we met in Oulu, and, and then we are here, and we have been in constant communication with our teams. I remember the first, let's say, concrete uh, showcase of this device, when I met this bear-like guy, Brian, who is somewhere here who hammered that helmet on my head and said that, try it. That was 10 o'clock in the evening. 
I said, okay, what is this? This is like, what did you see? I said, what should I see? <laughs> but very, let's say, quickly, I understood that this is a device, a solution that has multiple, uh, let's say, user, user cases. And Kazakhstan, we are chose to be our first pilot case due to several factors, one factor being that there has been already several years ago a very top-down order in the country that the whole country should be digitalized. But it hasn't really gone by 2020. It hasn't really gone like that, so uh, everything is delayed. But we have established ourselves there. We have our own joint venture company there with the state-owned uh, sovereign fund as our uh, minority partner that enables us to operate in the country uh, in the highest, highest possible level, understanding the politics too, as, as uh, Andy said. And we realized that this is the place we can, we can start rolling out the, the real wireless uh, devices. But that's how we ended up to where we are today. But I don't think that that is, uh, let's say, the final stop. I think that we have uh, places to go, which is Russia, obviously, very logically, China, and we can only expand from here. Yeah, and maybe the uh, key point here is that we do have a fantastic relationship with the Finnish government. And the fin Finnish government has a big handshake to Kazakhstan, Russia, and China. Yeah. And we are coming along in that way. And, and I think we are mutually here gaining with this three-party uh, yes. approach with the Qualcomm and Railway. Yes, and then uh, speaking about these regions, uh, I have been a practicing lawyer myself for 20 years in the Eastern Europe, so I, I, I claim I know how, how things happen there. And the relationships, both on the, on the, let's say, governmental level and also at the high level business are important. And again, this Finnish background of us plays into, the, into our hand, especially in respect of Russia, who is our neighbor in all of its good and bad, and, and, and the rest of the, uh, the East. So we really believe that, that this is not uh, even one industry-specific uh, uh, opportunity that we have with, uh, with Realware. We do have other, uh, let's say, uh, products too in our portfolio, both our own and some of the others, thanks to our Qualcomm uh, partnership. And then we have some vertical solutions of our own, but we see that the Realware has a very big opportunity, starting even from the clothing business, actually. A few days ago, uh, a couple of people approached me from, uh, from a Finnish clothing company and asked that how could they effectuate the operations of their model cutter cutters and people who are working in different locations in the world. And now they are sending, let's say, parcels around the world uh, that here is uh, some kind of product, and somebody looks at it, sends it back, and just came to me that why don't they wear these, let's say, devices. As you said earlier, that it is, it is a knowledge transfer platform. And you said that you are in the business of putting those pieces of information in people's head, and we are there to connect those pieces of information so that they can be input there, like in Matrix, as you said. So I think that that's the uh, beginning of a beautiful story. Thanks, Beck. You are talking a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because you didn't read the script again that I wrote, you know. Yeah, okay. You promised to read it, but you didn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please continue. Okay. Say about uh, us in number-wise, so that the people has, that they have a clue. Yes, so the company is eight years old, and last few years have been very rapid growth. We have been uh, uh, elected as the fastest growing company in Finland three years running. Our 2018 revenue was uh, 1.5 billion US dollars, and we made approximately, yes, thank you, we made approximately <laughs> 135 uh, million dollars in profit. With 60 people, so scalable stuff. Yeah, yeah, 60 people in our own, let's say, um, <laughs> 60 people in our own payroll. Of course, we have a wide network of yeah. partners and, and, and corporation partners, resellers and distributors. So that's obviously one part of the story. But we have always believed in scalable businesses. I think we have five, five minutes and 30 seconds to go. Is there anything else you want to say? Out I don't of know. Bar is open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Do you have anything else? No, maybe one thing is that while we are here, we have another fellow as well, the he our head of operations. So come and talk with us and, and let's see what we can do. Yes. Yeah. Happy to be here. If you have anything to ask from us, 
any questions, please approach us. We will be here until the last person leaving the house. Maybe one, one thing I need to say, you know, uh, is we are passionate about making the impossible possible. So there was a hockey game, World Championship on Sunday. And, uh, okay, we won, right? <laughs> there was a 1980s in at Lake Placid. There was a miracle on ice. In this Sunday, there was a monster on ice. Our uh, Marco Antila number 12. I did send a message for the boys on Sunday. You need to win. This is your statement. They did their work. Yes. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. All right. I think we are done. Thank you. Thanks.